This is Mrs. Ross, and this is lesson 3.2, even in odd functions practice. Okay. Um, so it says determine algebraically whether or not this function is even or odd. Justify your answers. So we're going to plug in negative x. So I get 3 times negative x squared over. Wow, what a great straight line that is, though. Thank you so much. So that's going to be 3x squared squared over 1 minus x to the fourth. So we literally get the exact same thing. f of x is equal to f of negative x, which makes this even. Okay, let me pick a different color. Okay. Which of the following functions are odd? Select all that apply. So I didn't copy and paste those, but there are four. So I'm going to go ahead and work through them negative x squared plus 1 over negative x, which is negative x squared plus 1 over x. So what we have here is we have f of x is equal to negative f of x, which is odd. So there's 1. b, f of negative x is equal to 3 times negative x cubed plus negative x plus 5. So this is negative 3x cubed minus x plus 5. Here we have our classic. So this has changed, this has changed, but this has not changed. So this is neither. Okay, let's get back to that. C, f of negative x is equal to 1 over negative x cubed, which is negative, oops, sorry, negative 1 x cubed, which is 1 over x cubed. So we have another one of the f of x is equal to negative f of x. That's odd. Okay, I'm going to do d over here. f of negative x for the last one is 4 times negative x to the fifth, which gives me negative 4x to the fifth. Again, same song. Negative f of x, which is odd. So you have three odds on that one. Okay, so here it says determine it, which of these functions are true, or which of these statements are true. I didn't copy those, but what I can tell you is this is symmetric. That is not spelled right. I think there's two ends. Symmetric about the origin. And if something is symmetric about the origin, it is an odd function. Okay. Last one, let me pick some different colors. It says the graph is an even function, so we know that it's symmetric about the y-axis. Okay. And it contains the point 3, negative 5. So 3, it contains this point. I know it's symmetric across this. So what other point has to be on the graph? It's got to be this one. It's because it's going to mirror across. It's going to mirror across this. makes a little happy face. Okay, so that point is negative 3, negative 5. And that's it. Let me know if you have any questions.